Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's the 4th of July, so I have an idea and we're just going to roll with it and we're just going to talk about some things. So it's the month of July now, um, which means I, me, myself, would like to attempt a low buy this month. Um, I actually plan on succeeding, so let me rephrase that. I plan on doing a low buy this month and succeeding. My budget is going to be 300 and I know it's a lot, like, I mean, you guys see my posts, like, it, stuff adds up. Um, but I have a few pre-orders, um, I'm hoping one of them will come in July, and I have some other orders that haven't come yet, so I'm hoping that will, like, assist in a bit of, like, a tide over, for lack of a better term. Um, that was just the Eight Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. So for my eyes, of course, 4th of July, I want to do more of a cranberry red, and like a lighter blue. I had a blue in my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna be jumping through a bunch of different palettes. Please have what I'm looking for. Mm, I think that's gonna turn, it's not gonna stay as red as I want because I was thinking about doing something from here, but I think that's not gonna be the red that I want in the end. So let's look in here. Mm, no. I'm thinking about pulling in Blueberry Muffin for the blue. Um, because I enjoy a lighter blue. Should we dip in the... No, it's, this is too dark. Um, let's just prime while I think. And then I was thinking about using a shimmer from this. I'm definitely all over the place in my idea, but I have one. I might just use that red, or unless I have something in here. I made a little strawberry palette the other day. So maybe we'll just dip back and forth and lighten up Sugar Pills Suburbia. And then for the white, it will be um, on the inner corner. And then I'm thinking about doing a little bit of silver for the liner. So let's start with primer today. So I've been mixing the Juvia's Place primer primers because shade two is like really dark. However, for today's look, I think I might just use one so that it's a whiter, whiter base. Um, but yeah, the number two is a lot deeper than my skin tone, which I guess makes sense, um, but it's, it's too light, so that sucks. You guys doing anything fun for the 4th of July, or did you? Because this is going to go up. I'm hoping I can get it up tomorrow. Um, I... So we don't have plans right now, but we're gonna do, um, no, sorry, past tense. Yesterday we went to the movies. That was crazy. I haven't been in the movies in literally years. <laughs> um, we saw the hitman's wife's bodyguard. It was really good. Um, I'm not really into funny, funny action movies. I much prefer serious, um, and I don't really love Ryan Reynolds. Like, he's okay. I don't have any feeling. Like, he's fine. You know what I mean? I'm not in love with him the way most people are. And it's funny because I feel like even guys are also in love with him. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay. So that's the base all set down. Um, So the outer corner is going to have to be red because it's going to be... I'm going to do white, faded into blue, faded into... No, I should do white, red, and blue. Because I don't want to do red on the inner corner. But it will on the top. So we'll do red and fade that in. Let's use this little dirty Morphe brush. Everything I use is dirty. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to dip first into Ethos from 
lethal. So I'm all, okay, so no buy, low buy. Let's talk about that. So it's already hard with 4th of July, but um, I already have a pre-planned purchase for July and that's the Sugar Drizzle too. Um, I really want that, can't wait. So I'm definitely gonna get that. Um, I don't think I have anything else written. Um, so for sales for today, Melt Cosmetics is having a sale, but I decided that I didn't want to participate because there's nothing I really, really, really wanted. Um, and I don't want to just spend money to spend money. So starting off strong, right? Starting off strong. And then Danessa Myrick sent out an email that they were doing 40% off, which sucks because I just placed my first order for Danessa Myrick's product last week. I bought two palettes and a color fix, and I'm so sad because I could have got it 40% off. But I'm just not gonna purchase from the sale. It'll be fine. Um, so I'm using a lethal eyeshadow right now, and it just made me wanna talk about the lethal and Teresa collab. Um, I love Teresa. I'm really happy she's had a collab, okay? I'm really glad for her. But I feel like the palette looked almost identical to the um, the video game one, the After Dark palette. So for me, we're dipping into um, Blueberry Muffin Cheat Day. So for me, I'm like really saddened that it's a, such a dupable color story. And um, if you saw my Instagram, I think I'm gonna haul them at some point, I don't remember. I did a huge order from Lethal and um, I can literally dupe her palette with the own brand, I feel like. Or at least get super, super similar. So for me, I like, why would I buy that? I don't know. I'm glad she did liners though, cause she is like a queen of colored eyeliner in her waterline. So it would have been really strange if she did a collab with the no um, liner counterpart. How do we feel? Okay. So my big plan today is making s'mores and lighting my first firework. How fun, right? All right, let's see if we can get these to look similar. Yeah, I didn't wanna do like traditional Roy G. Biv red, white, and blue. Like, you know what I mean? Like that bright, bright red, bright, bright, like primary blue. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit gentler. Um, I don't even know what blue shade I'm gonna use yet on my lid, if I do use one. Cause I'm definitely gonna use the one shade from the whale song that I thought about. Cause I haven't used that yet. I feel like I have a lot of blues that have like dipping into delish a little bit. I have a lot of blues that pull pink, so I can't use any of those because that'd be weird. Oh yeah. Love that. Alright, so I'm thinking a faux cut crease. So I'm gonna need some glitter glue. I've not taken any more product back on the red brush. I'm just going back and forth. Really easy. Just slap it on, you guys. That's, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I think those are both the same brush. Ooh. Yeah, the JS9 and Morphe brush, which you can't get anymore, so I'm like really sorry. 
flipping good brush, if I do say so myself. All right, let's go in with, you know, let's use this rougher brush again. This is a rougher 02 brush, but we got to get some glitter glue. We're going to start with the shade Pearl from the Whale Song. And then I really can't think if there's anything else. that I want it to fade into. Was there a blue in anything that I was thinking about? Um, no, there's not really blues in any of those. Okay, let's take Pearl. Okay, it's a little bit harder to pick up. Okay, it's pretty, but it's pretty sheer right now. I might build this up with my finger. I kind of like that it's more sparkly than super stark white. Okay. Doesn't match like the look I was going for, but it's still really pretty. What should we end the lid with? Hmm. What do we have that's reddish? I mean, we could just... So I think I might use a little bit of royalty for blue from the Shine by SD palette. And then let's look in here. Maybe we'll take a bit of raspberry from the new romantic palette on my pointer finger and just put that on the middle oh man i touched my bottom okay I mean, if you're a makeup person, is it really the 4th of July if you didn't wear it on your eyes? Okay. I mean, they blend perfectly in together. And I'm just going to swatch royalty and make sure it's kind of a thing that I wanted to do. Yeah, it doesn't have too much because the shade Frosty from the palette has like a um a, a pinky hue and I don't want pink. Ooh. You guys sometimes plan you don't need to plan. You don't need to plan, Stan. Okay. Blend mm -mm. up between them. Go back a little red guy. Perfect. Amazing. Stunning. Looks like I planned it, but I didn't. I didn't plan it at all. And then is this? I'm gonna use the shade Destiny on the inner corner. It's like a little bit of a blue based. Um, inner corner shade, but first I'm going to kind of uh, do a little dabby do. Um, I didn't do any of my base makeup yet. 
So I think I'm going to do... Let me just... It's really... My base mate, I'm literally... I've, I've started using the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer again. And by started using it, I mean I used it yesterday for the first time since I bought it. It's pretty nice. Um, and I used it with this uh, Moda complexion brush uh, that Julia Adams made me buy and I'm so glad that she did because it's a beautiful brush. Beautiful application. Bought a whole brush set just for this one brush. Isn't that how it always goes? I do know if I do anything fun with the liner. This is Melt OK Boomer. I cannot do that on camera for you. I'm sorry. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. See how nice that concealer is? How nice is that? I hope the lighting was okay. Because if not, that'd be, like, really awkward. Um, okay. Let's go in with our little inner corner. I found, so this is the, hands down, the best inner corner brush I've used in my entire life. It's the Ruffer 23 brush. I'm going to pick up Destiny. He's gonna. Perfect. If anything, I might take a little bit of this and draw it over some of Pearl. Just give that, a, yes, give that a little bit more of a defined edge right there. Yep. Yep. How fun. How fun is this? Looks pretty good. Let's go in with our blue brush again and just kind of make sure everything's happy and connected. And then let's go in with our face. So um, base products, not for me. I don't. It's, I'm just not. I'm not right now. Um, I don't really have a red blush. So so, I'm trying to think of what I have as a cream product. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything red. So, let's do some bronzer. Um, Salt New York. I use it every day of my life. Wish I bought these sooner. Um, let's go in with the contour shade just because of what the eye look. Um, I really don't want you to look at anything but my eyes. So we'll use the contour shade, so tonally it'll be nice. Oh yeah, but I got the Danessa Myricks, uh the Neutrals Water Cream Palette. And I'm so excited because I always feel like I want to deepen up a lot of my cream bronzing products and contouring products. But I never want them to be warm. So this palette, I think, is going to be perfect for adding depth and it not going orange. Um, I thought about getting the balm, but I felt like that pulled really orange a lot of the time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go draw on my fun little, like, idea I had for my silver liner, put mascara on, and I'll do blush on camera. I just have to figure out which blush yeah, to use. I did a little bit of liner. I messed it up, so I don't really care. Um, I've decided to do more of a neutral blush um, what am I doing? Okay, instead of a super colorful one. So I did just pick these ones up. This is Rum Runner from ColourPop. Um, I'm still, like, trying to figure out whether or not I hate it. Um, so take that as you will, um, as a mini review for this product. Um, you think I'm adding a lot? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. It'll be gone in a moment. It'll be gone in a flash.
and then I did want to add a little bit of a liquid highlight. So let's do that. Okay, this was the e.l.f. putty brush, the putty primer brush. I bought it specifically for um, cream blushes that don't work well enough. Uh, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs deodorant. Uh, this is the Spotlight Glow Stick and Glistening Illuminator. Um, sorry, you probably can't buy this anymore. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush. I've never used this before on my face with highlighter. So we'll see. I think I'm going to blend over top of that with my finger. Let's get a little Tin Man nose. All right, let's just kind of work it in. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right, so this is the completed 4th of July look. Um, one thing I really enjoy is that none of the reds that I'm wearing match in the slightest. I think that's really cool for me. Love that. Uh, I think my eye makeup looks cool. As good as it's going to look for mixing red and blue and it not turning purple. Um, all the shimmers seemed really cool. That blue from the Shine by SD Enchantment Palette is really, like, has a cool glow to it. And then the red from the New Romantics Palette I've wanted to use forever. So the raspberry shade was super pretty. Love that for us. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Definitely follow me on Instagram. I post all the time there. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.